Hello, Dallas, Fort Worth. Let's talk sports. Max Morgan, along with Hall of Famer Nancy Lieberman. Big day in the NBA setting history. It's an amazing day. I thought it was going to be a, a really nice, calm day, and then my phone started ringing that the Spurs hired my friend Becky Hammond as their assistant coach. It is, I'm so proud of the NBA and the Spurs. Uh, this is a league that is the leader in diversity in the front office, on the court, female referees, uh, minority owners play. It, it's just, it's a glorious day. All right, your buddy Becky, tell me what she brings to the Spurs table. And they don't need a lot because they're champions. <laughs> well, they don't need a lot, but they're always trying to get better. And if you know Coach Popovich, he, he's not interested in bells and whistles. He's interested in substance. <laughs> Becky communicates well. She has high IQ. She has a great relationship with those guys. She's been around Parker Ginobili and Timmy Duncan for years now. Last year when she tore her ACL, she interned for Coach Popovich. And I think that kind of was the deal, you know, set her because they saw how she was in practice, her, her teachability, how she interacted with everybody. And there was like, it's a no brainer. Let's bring her on staff. Well, what about for you? What does this do for you? You've coached before. You're a Hall of Famer. Uh, does it uh, light the fire under you more to maybe get into the NBA as a coach? Well, my dream is to coach in the NBA, and I've been working for that and towards that for a long time. Uh, nothing should be handed to any one of us, no matter what our titles next to our name. And I have to just continue to work hard. I'll be at the NBA coaches camp next week. And I'll just keep uh, working hard and, and networking and, and showing uh, that I could bring value to a basketball team. It's not about being the first, although I think it's amazing, to be quite honest. It's about, uh, you know, when, once the first domino, you know, falls, maybe other teams, there's 29 other teams that will say, you know what, this could be good for us. Uh, I don't want to say we're a copycat league, but I, I do think that, you know, good quality coaches come in all shapes, sizes, and genders. Well, you know, and I want your thoughts on this because you know first female coach and there are going to be those out there that says, whoa, 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 this shouldn't be happening. Your, your answer to that. Well, I, I've personally lived a life of you can't do this, you shouldn't do that, and you just have to stay true to your values of who you are. Uh, you don't have to fight the fight. You don't have to sling words. Just be self-confident. Do your job. Show up. Be responsible and everything else will fall into place. There will be naysayers, but it's okay. As, as far as I know, there's women who are running Fortune 500 companies. They're executive CEOs, of, uh, presidents of companies. This is now just filtered in to the NBA, and I can't see why it would just be a one and done because Pop knows Becky. I think other uh, coaches and owners will see that this could be a value to their franchise. Have you had a chance to talk to Becky today? I uh, left her a voicemail this afternoon. I'm sure she's uh, busy. She's still playing right now for the Silver Stars until the season ends, but she's a very close friend and I look forward to uh, giving her a high five, a hug, and just congratulating her. All right, Nancy, thanks for taking time out of your camp here in Frisco. Thank you very much. Thank you, Max. Nancy Lieberman, Hall of Famer, I'm Max Morgan, Fox 4 Sports.